Okay, everybody. We just got here and I got unloaded. Just picked up my new Ranger 570 midsize. Just thought I'd give you a quick look. I took it one spin already. I was going to try to get it filmed before uh, I actually rode it, but I couldn't wait. I haven't even been home yet. We just picked it up, unloaded it. Got the fold down windshield. I ain't got my winch put on. I'm going to get that when I take it in for its first service. It's kind of close, sorry. My truck's in the way, I can't get around it. Here's the dash. It's raining too, my phone's getting wet. That's okay. Okay, a little mud on the tire. Dump bed, chainsaw holder. Give you a little back view on it, and then we're gonna take a ride. Okay, there it is. Let's hop in, take a ride. Okay, here we go. last night on my first quick ride through the pasture and up the road we were coming back today and here we are and i am all loaded up ready to head up to the camp i've already hauled uh, one load of wood up there and unloaded it and came back for the rest of the stuff didn't want to leave the wife behind so i could put her in there too and put her in a seat belt <laughs> but uh got my um uh, chainsaw holder on there keep it out of the way so don't cut stuff up it's cool Everything fit in there in one load that we need today. We'll see how that continues. So we're heading up to the camp, and as soon as we get up there, I'll be back. Alrighty. Made it up here to camp. Got the wood unloaded. Got some of the stuff unloaded. I took my backpack out. Got a fire started. I'll show you that in a minute. Here's my ranger sitting up here in the mud and the trees. And the rain. It's been raining off and on today. Got my chainsaw hanging there on the side still give you a quick walk around and I'll give you a shot of the camp and the fire left a cooler in there too it's getting hard to stay away far enough to get good shots here because all the leaves and the weeds are starting to grow and I need to spray some weed killer out here or something around the camp now we'll come up on the Path where I usually park. 
There's the ranger park there. You see the fire in the background. Sorry, I'm shaking. It's hard to walk around on these hills. Okay. Let me squeeze by this tree here real quick. There's the wifey come up with me today. Give you a picture of my bed. And that's my, my ditty bag, my fire kit, and a little speaker for my phone. My chair and gloves. And there's where I hang my backpack. There's the other bed. Got us a fire going today. And we brought a couple marinated steaks up today. Bought me a new grill that legs fold out and fits right across the fire pit. So as soon as we get some coals, we're going to eat. So there's my fire. It's a good day. You can see the forest is all grown up from the pictures from this winter. I picked a good spot right up here on top of the ridge. There's just a slight breeze, enough to keep you from smothering. And that's where I parked my ranger. That's a picture of it from behind. Okay, so as soon as we get to cooking here, I'll bring you back. Okay, here we are sitting in the rain. I had to build my fire up so the rain didn't put it out. I'll sit here real quiet so you can hear the rain for a minute. raining hard enough you can't even hear the fire crackle and there's my new machine sitting in the rain getting wet oh well won't hurt it I guess so we're just sitting here under the canopy put our chairs up see put them up we're sitting here in the shelter that's what I built it for to keep us dry so we're just gonna sit here in the rain till it quits and then we're gonna cook. So when we get to cooking again, I'll touch back with you. Okay, got our uh, steaks on there cooking. Shouldn't take them too long. We forgot our plates and stuff, so we had to run to town and pick some up. That was a joy fire almost went out and it started raining on us coming back but we got everything going again so we're good it's quit raining now the sun's showing through the top of the trees so we're all good so we're just cooking up some steaks here and just thought I'd give you give you a peek at them they look pretty yummy to me there's a little bit of a view of the whole fire pit going on just got my new grill looks like it's gonna work out pretty good for us we just sitting here talking about getting some iron skillets, things like that. So. Alrighty, check back with you in a little bit. There we go, we got them cooking now. You can hear the fire crackling, the sizzle of the steaks. So we'll be eating good here in a little bit. I was trying to cook over the coals and I think this grill is just a little too tall. So I had to throw a log in there and get some flames going. So we're cooking on the flames. It should be all right. It sure smells good, that's for sure. So, just thought I'd uh, show you what we're having for dinner today. Okay, taking our steaks off now. I got these cool little pieces of stump I made. I think I showed you a minute ago, but I'm gonna use these as lap trays. Just a thin piece of wood, I cut off a stump. Put your plate on there, like that. Then you got a tray to put in your lap and you don't cut through your paper plate. So, let's get this bad boy over here. Dummy. There she is. I'm gonna grab a knife and I'm gonna start eating. My grill worked out pretty good. There we go, I took my girl off the fire. Just got done eating our steaks. Boy, they was good. They were so tender. Mama worked on them all morning. Tenderizer, and poked them with a knife about a million times. They was awful tender and good though. So, I actually scored. 
I ate mine. She only ate half of hers, so I got half hers too. I can live with that. I'm good with that. So. Yep, that's pretty good. So I just threw another log on the fire, as you can see. We're just sitting here relaxing. I started sprinkling again a minute ago, but we're good. We're up under the up under the tarp on my shelter, so we're not getting wet. But uh, sure has been quiet today. Haven't heard any distant noise or anything. Uh, the guy on the land next door brought his four-wheeler up to check on the cows, I think. But that's the only person we've seen all day long. It has been really quiet. Dogs didn't even come up with us today. I don't know what their problem is. Lazy mutts. Okay, just thought I'd check in. We'll see you everybody later. It's all pretty butterfly. I thought I'd get a quick shot of that. That is beautiful. I like beautiful animals and stuff like that. Just thought I'd throw a piece of that in there for everybody. Okay, I was going to end this video yesterday, but decided to come down again today and do a few modifications. Since it rained yesterday, we learned a lot. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see the line right here between the wet and the dry. So what I decided to do was hang me a tarp on the outside of the beds here and use my cross member here to roll the rest of the tarp up under so I have a triangle shaped cover and I'll show you what it looks like from out here see there you go so now I've got protection all the way from this post to that post across the camp right there to right there then the fire pit is probably just one foot out probably right here is where to stop now so all looks good so I decided to come down and do that today so anyway I know this is probably a unusual video but I wanted to get some shots out there of my my ranger and cooking for the first time at my camp i've had fires before but i hadn't hadn't cooked yet so we cooked those steaks yesterday but anyway um for those of you that followed through and watched this whole video thanks um i appreciate it uh, i'll try to get more posted shortly don't know what it'll be of i told you it's not always bush crafting this one was on my ranger and cooking and the wife come and spent the weekend with me so I don't know what I'll get into next. It's almost kayak season. Might be another one up here of uh, doing tools or knives or something like that. So I don't know. But anyway, thanks for joining in. Don't forget to subscribe. So when I post uh, new videos, you'll get a notice so you can see what kind of crazy things I'm out here doing. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next time.